Hey, I'm Dave. Welcome to Capsize, all Texas music. Uh, we've been doing this for 30 years, bringing you nothing but Texas music. We hope you dig it, because we love making it. Capsize, all Texas music. All right, well, here we're gonna do a set of reels to start off with. We'll do uh, Swinging on the Gate and Sally Gardens and Father Kelly's all as a set. So let's begin. All right.
Nice. Ah, well, we had suggested uh, maybe a jig set then, a uh, rolling wave, rolling waves, and out on the ocean, mm -hmm. our nautical set. sets. Yes. <laughs> <laughs>
Actually, Tom, do you want to take a solo? Okay. That would be an awesome <laughs> time. Go right ahead. Um, this is a bagpipe that's inflated by pumping a bellows. So I've got the bag under one elbow and the bellows under the other. And that's the actual name of the, of the pipes. In Irish, the word for elbow is illa. And so two of them are illin. These are the illin pipes. They also are the national musical instrument of Ireland. My wife is from Ireland and she got me hooked on the music a long time ago. And finally, I had the crazy idea that I could play these. I'm a student <laughs> of this instrument. Probably always will be. <laughs> this is a, an air that is about a, a priest who fell in love with his brother's wife. But being an honorable man, he would never say anything about it to anyone, not even if you offered him the whole of Ireland. And it's called, But for Ireland I'd Not Say His Name, or Her Name. <laughs> playing is um, a tradition of pipes where you try to imitate the singer's voice with the chanter, oh, cool. including something that you can only do with these pipes, which is to stop when the, the uh, singer would take a breath. These pipes are stoppable, at least the chanter is, uh, which is, distinguishes them from the other pipes. Wow, I appreciate that. So it's it's actually emulating the sound of yeah. the singer. I have yeah. not heard that sound. Mm. That's brilliant. Well, I, I was doing a very good job. Leave it up to the Irish, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's it. For those. <laughs> oh, very fine. Okay. So the, the pipes are supposed to imitate the singer, and then the fiddles are supposed to imitate the pipes. Is yes. this how this goes? <laughs> 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 
Well, when I play laments, so the other thought in my head is, I want to sound like a sad fiddler. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> Comes full circle. Oh, so, yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, we had in mind uh, some slip jigs, I believe it was, mm -hmm. next. Did we suggest it was uh, Fig for a Kiss, Butterfly, and then Kid on the Mountain, play through twice? All right. Was okay. that the order? <laughs> mm -hmm. I hope so. <laughs> what was it Butterfly yeah. first? I don't or what, which one did, did you want to no, do the Fig first? Fig first. Yeah, yeah. Fig first. You're right. Okay, good. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. 
are some of the musicians that play in the uh, Irish pubs around Austin, uh, most notably B.D. Riley's, uh, which we do a Thursday session. B.D. Uh, B. Riley's is in the Miller development, and so our tune session begins roughly 7 o'clock and goes through 10.30 every Thursday night. And it's just whoever shows up. The tradition of the Irish tune session is very informal. It's not a stage show. It's just, I, I like to describe it as a potluck. We play with who we've got tonight. <laughs> we play whatever we feel like playing. Uh, and we uh, put together sometimes the sets as, uh, as we go along, <laughs> much as we are doing now. So uh, we would like very much to uh, be able to portray that informal feel of the tune session here and now with what we do. Folk music. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> One of my greatest heroes, Pete Seeger, said it's called folk music as it just folks that make it. <laughs> just words to live by that. We are nothing fancy, but we love what we do passionately. <laughs> Oh, let's see. Did you have in mind uh, maybe a polka set next? Mm -hmm. I can do those. Uh, what is it? Knock the bowl? Yeah. Uh, knock the bowl. Knock. <laughs> knock uh, it's actually, it, I think it's knock the bowl oh. in Irish. Oh, yeah. Because yeah, it's talking about a hill or oh. mountain. Oh, knock. Oh, knock is, yeah. I like but, that. you know, like when you change it into English, it's like turns into knock. That's right. Okay. So, uh, okay, so what are the so two names, Michael? Tell us. Uh, it's, it's just a regular polka set. So it's like the Notnable 1 and 2. Okay. So they, that's what they're, they're known as. So this is a, <coughs> one of those sets that kind of goes together traditionally. Okay. Um, and uh, yeah, it's uh, one of those uh, Schlieve Lucra uh, polka sets. So, so. <laughs>
like to talk about another tune session that we do, this one out in Lockhart, and we do this one once a month. Uh, usually it's a Sunday afternoon, not a particular Sunday, we're, we're on an email list, so we sort of figure it out as we go <laughs> along. Um, Lockhart Arts and Craft is the place, it's about half a block away from Black's Barbecue, and we do that one on Sunday afternoon starting about 4.30, and that one goes through until 8 o'clock. And all of our sessions are on Facebook too, so. Uh, oh yes, all the, the tunes. Latest we play. information. That's true too. Yes. So uh, <laughs> we. Uh, yeah. The Jay who runs that has like a whole group, lots of groups. <laughs> yes, <laughs> to that run is that true. And get the Caves word out. San Marcos. No. Group is, and then there, yeah, he'll post whenever they're having the session. He has like a rotating Sunday. It's Google. So <laughs> that is right. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And, okay. and then there's also. Um, uh, a Wednesday night session yeah. down in San Marcos yeah, and a Tuesday night in the caves. Mm -hmm. So you uh, can Lakeway, Lakeway. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, the, uh, it's at there. the Musician's Woodshed. The yeah. Musician's yes, yes, Woodshed, yes. Yeah. yeah. So it's a non-pub session, but still a really good time. So you can keep yourself occupied with yeah. any yeah, the, the one in San Marcos is uh, on Wednesdays, yeah. and that's like twice a month. Mm -hmm. That's at this coffee shop down in San Marcos called Wake the Dead. Yeah. Which is like the perfect name for a place to host an Irish session. <laughs> <laughs> they better play I Buried My Wife. Oh. Oh, very, good. Oh, very good, yeah. Some Irish tunes have some really grim names, it's yeah. true. Um, so the point that we want to make with any session is that they are completely open. We'd love to have people come and join us. And uh, whether you're a beginner or not, um, it doesn't matter. If you just know a couple of the notes, play those notes with us if it's a tune you're familiar with. Um, we all started somewhere. We all want to encourage new players, and these sessions are very democratic. We don't usually have uh, a firm. We have a loose leader, but nothing that's very, very firm. We just sort of uh, decide what we want to play next, and the people that know it play it. And if you want to take a break and have your beer then, that's fine and good, too. I'm also a leader and more of a cat herder, let's face it. Yeah, yeah. We know where and when to be, and <coughs> bring your instruments, and we figure it out from there. <laughs> I guess some sessions over in like Ireland or where else, where they're a little, like, there are some sessions that are not so open. No, that's true. That's so. true. In Austin, we've always, and the yeah. Central Texas area, we've always had the tradition of being much more casual yeah. and yeah. not judgmental. Yep. We, we're very friendly. De open. Definitely check with the people running the session yeah. before you just walk up and start. Making noise. <laughs> Outside of all <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. yes. Got to be respectful. <laughs> Should we do a yep. shout out to uh, the Dallas and Houston folks? If you'd like. What do you want to say? Uh, well, I know the Houston one is in the Penny Whistle Pub. Uh, that is Sundays mm -hmm. at, what is it, four-ish? Four to yeah. six, I think? Yeah, on Sundays. So. Yeah. Um, I don't know where the uh, Dallas one is. There's a couple of them. Like, there's, like, I think one in... Um, um, McKinney. Yeah, McKinney. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think the 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 whole group of there's like T I M E S, the Times. Yeah. The, the, I think they have a whole website um, where they kind of do all that. They have Traditional like traditional you know, Irish music education society. Yeah. Wow. Featured on yeah. Jamie's shirt, actually. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Very well. yeah. 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 And Hi, that's Brian. that's a perfect example of a closed session because they yeah, regularly they do. Uh, <laughs> I think it's like once every other week at mm -hmm. one of the pubs up there they do like a, like only a specific group of people show up that are like really good and they you know like to showcase some really s strong musicians in the area. Yeah, so they're all fancy like that. We yeah. have none of that. <laughs> <laughs> Tom, did you? But they but they have open sessions up there too. So. Yeah. And up in up in Dallas, um, that's there's a lot of great musicians up there and they host that um, in the fall they uh, host the O'Flaherty's uh, Irish uh, retreat. Which I think er, most of us Which have been. Which is also on Yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah mm -hmm. so that's every October, and that's just one of the most beautiful things for like all the Irish, uh, Texas musicians and Ir uh, um, Irish musicians of Texas all kind of gather in, in uh, Texas and beyond. You know, mm -hmm. and we hang out and just play nothing but Irish music for three days, and it's mm -hmm. it's. it's, it's uh, in three weeks. Yeah. Uh, well, well from from the recording date. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now we have the Gulf Coast Canoe too. Yes. Yes. Oh yes. yes. Which yes. you're Houston. you you, Which you I, help run that, right? I do. I do a volunteer on their board, and oh. um, you know we were we were inspired by mm -hmm. great programs like O'Flaherty, and we decided why not on the Gulf Coast, and so we have started, you know, putting together a weekend workshop in. June, we had um, storytelling this past year for the first time, oh. which is really exciting. Oh, it's a component of the 
of the festival in addition to the music and dance. So nice. really fun. And what does Carnu mean again? It means gathering. <laughs> yeah, the it website's gathering. easier to remember. I think that's Gulf Coast Irish because it took us honestly about two weeks to come up with consistent spelling on the board of Carnu. <laughs> oh. No one was going to find us. If we could even. <laughs> yeah. True there you facts, go. y'all. That's, th that's how the sausage is made. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have said that on air, but it's too late now. <laughs> Should we say something, though, about the difference between an Irish session? And a jam session. Um, it's not a free flowing, um, come up with a melody along the way sort of thing. We're playing melodies that everyone is familiar with, and we try to play them together. And <laughs> we ask it if you don't know the tune, that you listen until you do know it. And uh, so, in that sense, it's it's not a jam session, but. Boy, do we have a lot of fun. <laughs> there's, a lot, there's a lot of room for, for individual expression within the genre, but um, it's, it's uh, highly structured in other ways, unlike a jam session. Yeah. Also, we might point out that most of these tunes we're playing are like over 300 years old. Mm -hmm. So they'll probably go back to the you know, 17th century, you know, 18th century yeah. music. Yeah, play, we, we only play the top 40, though. <laughs> 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 but, uh, yeah. So most of the tunes are public domain, um, and you can find them online. Uh, thesession.org is a wonderful resource. Mm -hmm. um, there's also some tune collections, like... Oh, yeah. Like O'Neill's? O'Neill's. O'Neill's. Yeah, big book. Big book. The collection. This is the... They call that the Bible. <laughs> the they call that the Bible of tunes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Which was uh, put together by Police Chief O'Neill in Chicago a very long time ago. You, you, you would are know representing Chicago, Chicago <laughs> India. <laughs> hey, I have a Chicago plug in there. I'm sure Michael will be appreciative. Uh, <laughs> uh, his dad leads the sessions up there. So yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, of course. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> They're all fancy like that. <laughs> well, they have like six sessions a day on Sunday. It's ridiculous. You can't go to them all. Well, that's Chicago. Oh, I can't picture that. Yeah, oh. there's this, like three that are triple booked at the same time. It's Incredible. ridiculous. The oh. Chicago tradition is. Well, we are representing great players, the Austin yeah, great Irish players. music circle, and that's who we are. <laughs> All right, uh, well, let's see. What do we want to do next? Um, good, good sets, everybody. Sounded great. Um, we had in mind some jigs. Um, I haven't done any reels yet. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. We did oh, the first Oh, we did some swinging. Yeah, that's yeah, right, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, let's we, see. We started swinging. Or we it's, really, it's been so long, I forgot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's true. Hey, we've been rocking out. Um, do you want to do some jigs next? Sure. sure. Okay. What do you like? Uh, I had suggested uh, from a set that we often do, uh, Blackthorn Stick, Leitrim Fancy, and Cash Jig. That's yeah. what your suggestion, Victor. Yeah. That sounds good. Okay. So Blackthorn Stick, Leitrim Fancy, and Cash Jig. <laughs> Thank you. 
everybody. Well done. Well done. <laughs> All right. Well, I think uh, next I will play uh, She Begs She More. And uh, would you delighted if all of you would join me? Um, this is a tune by my favorite Irish harper composer, Turlock the Carolyn, who died in 1738, but before he did, wrote probably a couple of thousand harp tunes in his time. Um, when he was just a beginning student, um, there was a local legend in Roscommon where he was learning, and there were two hills that were said to have fairy kingdoms that lived under them, the Little Fairy Hill and the Big Fairy Hill. And the story, the local legend, is that the uh, queen of the fairy court and the small fairy hill uh, had jealousy on her from uh, the woman, uh, the queen of the big fairy hill, and so they went to war for no other reason than that, really, that we know. Um, <laughs> these were the affairs of the fairy folk, and it's best for mortals just not to poke their noses in too deeply, but that's the story we have. They went to war, and they were, uh, they reached a stalemate. Neither of them was able to claim the victory over the other until yet a third fairy court came invading, and the first two had to make an uneasy alliance to fend off this new attacker. So that's the story about She Bag is She More in County Roscommon. And uh, big is little and more is big. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> that's right. She Biag, She More. Yeah, she begs for more, yes. <laughs>
set. Jamie, do you want to dance? I probably do, do real set feels. Uh, one that we practice or a different one? I don't know. Fine. Do you think? <laughs> yeah, let's uh, uh, do Gossip Cyril's here in the musical priest. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So Victor, say again, what was that? Dick Gossip. Oh, right, right. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> yes. Okay. Jamie, can you talk about the dance that you do? So I have, after you just writs, I have fiddle, viola, and I also have a third, which is feet. Hmm. Um, so I'm going to get up and do a style of Irish dance called Shandos, which translates to old style. And it's the older version of Irish dance that predates um, Irish step dance. So these, these originated in the various counties in Ireland. Each region, region had their own specific styles. Um, and it's very geared towards the music. Um, as a musician, I'm able to hear different rhythms, different sounds, and make my beat match it. So it's very complimenting to the music. Um, very user-friendly. So it's, it's, very, it's a very unique style of dance. And again, it predates our step dance, where I believe in the 30s, they made it more uh, organized to get the dance back back going. And Shannos is less known form, but it's, it's I, I really love dancing to it. So um, you're going to be dancing to some reels. You can dance it to reels, jigs, hop jigs, uh, slides, polkas. So it's very versatile. And yeah, I'll probably use I have more to say once, once I'm done, but it's, it's really fun. It's uh, old style Irish dance, Shannos, and it's just so much fun to do. <laughs> <laughs>
Nice job, Jamie. <laughs>
back, everybody.